Good morning, everybody. Bearded Welshman here. Smoking my uh, Sven board with some fireside. Coming to you from the Greater Welshman Mobile Command Unit. Got an unusual day off during the week. I have to uh, had to take care of some things down here near Philadelphia where my daughter goes to college. So I was in a few meetings. With that. Also going to take care of some business. One of the things uh, you don't know much about me uh, is, yes, I'm a truck driver. Yes, I was an EMT. I owned a business, and I've always had that business entrepreneurial spirit in me. Because I just enjoy, I don't know if it's the EMT thing or what it is. I just enjoy taking a risk. I'm a risk taker, whereas my wife, she's not. Can't wait. Going to meet uh, George Bruno, a.k.a. Sultan of Silver. Uh, YouTube channel, Great Bailey. We're going to be meeting up for lunch and I believe a pipe session. Oh. Um, I just got done watching Northeast UK's uh, video and he was talking about some flakes that he tried smoking and his pipe didn't have a didn't have a good morning with him, and uh, they just they just weren't I think he said they were high in nicotine and they just weren't good and they would be great for a cigarette smoker who wants to try a pipe to work the way off of cigarettes and I agree um yeah Paratif is like that in my opinion and the Peterson Irish Flake, I liked it. I liked them both, um, but it's a lot of nicotine. Um, yeah, I'm buzzing. I can't smoke a full bowl of those. Um, although they both smoke very well in this and they smoke well in the, well, I smoked the Irish Flake in my custom built and it smoked well. Um, it will not be a full bowl, I can tell you that. Um, that's, just, that's just too much. That's just too much for me. But they taste good. I, I think they taste uh, pretty good. But it is what it is. Um, if you know someone who likes the high tick nicotine and you got something like that and you don't like it, give it to them, man. That's what the YTPC is all about. But, uh, just enjoying some of my fireside this morning. Uh, amazingly, I didn't have any fireside at all yesterday. That is unlike me. That's my daily smoke. And, uh, It's unlike me. I don't, I don't normally do that. I you know, normally have some of my fireside. Yeah. Cloudy day today. Uh, 
ambulance going by. Where they're going? Uh, they had a cloudy day today, but I'm excited. I had a hard time falling asleep last night, and I am ashamed to say it. Uh, I'm really excited about meeting Mr. Bruno. Uh, great guy. I just want to have a pipe with him and just hang out be more than just friends with him on uh, YouTube but uh, he's a good guy good guy I'm looking forward to it uh, if you didn't catch his morning show he does a morning daily morning video and a pretty good one this morning um, he's good you know you see a guy like that you look at a guy like alright everybody has great respect for the Gray Bailey channel and everybody has great respect for the NW Pipe Smoker uh, channel or the uh, Aristic Cobb these channels that have thousands of subscribers <laughs> so you take NW Pipe Smoker Who's highly respected in the YTPC, and you take Gray Bailey, Mr. Mr. George Bruno, who's highly respected in the YTPC, and you see two different extremes. Tom's successful because he just sits back and he takes you along into his life, and uh, he tells his stories of what's going on. Things he's done, places he's been. Tom takes us all on his trips. N.W. the pipe smoker. Uh, I miss seeing. I wish he would put some new stuff up. It's been a while. But uh, and then you go to the Great Belly Channel, and he could be talking about men's issues, um, grooming, dating. Uh, making money then he'll go into pipes and then he's he's really in my opinion he's an expert on the pipe um, then he'll go to something about uh, women how to deal with women then he I mean there's just two different extremes as to and that's what's neat about the YTPC Both are highly respected within this community. Both have thousands of subscribers. Um, and both pro provide very good content. Uh, one is we learn life lessons from Tom. And you say, how are you learning a life lesson from N.W. a pipe smoker when he's talking about his life? Because if you listen closely enough, when someone's telling you a story, be it true or not, there's a lesson there. And it could be anything. From a pipe, a tobacco, about... How you handle yourself, how you would deal in a situation uh, like similar to what he was going through. And then you go over to Gray Bailey Channel, and he's teaching you. And here's the kicker with with here's the kicker. Keep smoking or keep talking, not enough smoking with uh, George. He's teaching you. Now, Mr. Bruno coaches people and for a fee. But if you watch his videos, because I'm talking not just listen and not just gaze and pay attention to what he's saying. Because what he 
what he's given you are lessons in there. Could be anything from grooming your beard or your hair, uh, how to attract the right kind of woman if you're single. I'm married, so. Um, how to make money. How to market yourself. How to present yourself better on YouTube. Life is a sale. I believe. We're constantly selling who we are to people around us, to people we meet, to every everyday relationships that we have. Uh, we're constantly selling who we are. And if we do that with integrity, and we do that uh, with genuine good intent, we will have a better impact on those around us. Um, I, I, I can't tell you, I've been saying this for years when I taught therapy, manual therapy, or if I taught somebody in an EMS class, an EMT class, and it's so true, and I'm not sure if it's Zig Ziglar or who, who started the catchphrase, and I apologize, but it was, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you really care. And I found that out in my therapy practice, I did manual therapy, and I dealt with a lot of people. I had chronic pain. Fibromyalgia. PTSD related physical pain. Post traumatic stress disorder. And what I learned early on was that I needed to listen. I needed to acknowledge them. I'd have stayed in the business, which I couldn't because of my son's injury. I had to, I had to close up. I was a one man. Everybody's different. I couldn't. It's another story for another time. I couldn't reinvent who I was and how I did hands-on therapy. Uh, but I had to take care of my son, who was was almost killed. So I had to close the business and take care of him. I and mean, he's fine, by the way. But. I think why I was so successful at it, and I had people come to me all the time. I had a waiting list, um, and there was only so many hours in a day. Uh, I was I was working my fingers to the bone, literally. Um, it was because I listened, and we need to do that in everyday life. We need to listen. To our loved ones, to our friends, People we meet on the street. I'm, I'm a talker. I love to talk to people. I introduce myself to people and just, you know, start talking. And uh, there's a lot of wounded people out there. A lot of people who've been hurt and scarred and just want someone to listen and have a sympathetic ear. And uh, there's an old song from the 80s. Written and performed by a guy named Chuck Gerard. And it was called Don't Shoot the Wounded. And, and the, the words in the chorus go, Don't shoot the wounded. They need us more than ever. Sometimes we just condemn them and we don't take time to hear their story. Don't shoot the wounded. Someday you might be one. And I've lived by that all my life. You know, sometimes we get judgmental on people who are wounded or down or 
down on their luck, they're having a tough go at life. And here's the deal. It's not like they purposely did it. We shouldn't be judgmental towards them. We should get down beside them, lift them up, encourage them, build them up, help them get their strength back. Society would be so much better if we stopped judging one another. You don't know why that person's on welfare. You don't know why they're unemployed. You don't know their story. And until you take the time to hear their story, you can't make a judgment call on them. Now, granted, there are people that are in situations they're in because they choose to be that way. But hey, not my job to condemn anybody. It's my job to love them. Anyhow, that's enough for a ramble from me. I hope you have a good day. Sorry for taking so long on this video. I want you to know that I'm here for you. Share your story. Take time to listen to people. You can learn a lot from a child. You can learn a whole lot from someone who's been there before you, up in years, has experience. All right, everybody. I'm going to finish this smoke. Get on with my day. Let's light them up.